Okay, so um, this fifth form is our second lesson on differentiate, differentiating, and it's going to lead to you please uh, completing the Hegarty exercise nine, okay, which I've set up uh, on Hegarty, and I've also set it up. Uh, if you want to upload your work in this, I've set up a page on Teams. So what all I've done here is um, work through uh, several of the questions that they've done. So it's similar to what we did in our previous differentiating lesson, but we're now looking at slightly more complicated um, curves to start with. So remember what we're saying, a turning point is either a maximum or a minimum. There's a maximum, there's a minimum. And at any turning point, for a split second, the gradient is zero, because it is flat for a second of maximum or the minimum. Now, as you know, that when you differentiate, the differential allows you to work out the gradient for any value of x. And what we're saying is, but we want the gradient to equal zero. So once we've differentiated, we set this equal to zero. So let's take this question here. Find the x coordinate of the turning point of this curve. So step one, we differentiate it. So remember what we do, we work along term by term. And how do we differentiate? We multiply by the current power and then reduce the power by one. So x cubed becomes 3x squared. Minus 10x squared becomes minus 20x because we're multiplying by the two reducing the power from 2 to 1. 12x becomes 12, and the 19 disappears. So our differential is 3x squared minus 20x plus 12. Now, we want to know where the, the gradient is equal to 0, maximum or minimum. So we set our differential equal to 0. So here we have a quadratic that we have to solve. OK, so let's remind ourselves how to do it by way of factorizing. So we want our two magic numbers multiply to be the 3 times the 12, which is 36. Yet at the same time, add to be the minus 20. And that is minus 18 and minus 2. So we then split the middle term down into minus 18x and minus 2x, which I've done over here. So we've gone from a three-term problem to a four-term four problem. We then fully factorise terms one and two, and we fully factorise terms three and four, getting this repeat bracket. And then our final pair of brackets are the two components that aren't in a bracket to start with, so the three X and the minus two, and our second bracket is the repeated bracket. So our two solutions, these uh, brackets equal to zero, so what value of x makes this first bracket zero? That is, so we set it to equal to zero. Add two to both sides, divide by three, we get two thirds. And then obviously our second solution is x being six. So um, this is another example of the Hegarty exercise. OK, so now on this qu question, they're asking us a sketch of the curve of R as shown in the diagram below. Given that M is a turning point in the graph, work out the gradient of the line segment OM. So we're going to have to work out the gradient of this line. Now, in order to do so, we're going to need to know the coordinate of M. <coughs> and obviously, M is a minimum point. So it's going to be where the gradient is zero. So step one, let's go and differentiate the curve. So multiply by the current power of power by one. Three X cubed becomes nine X squared. Term number two, multiply by the current power, reduce the power by one, that becomes minus 18x. Now, that's the differential, and at m, the gradient is zero, it is flat, it's a minimum point, so we set the, uh, the differential equal to zero. Well, we've got a two term problem here to factorize, just to fully factorize. So let's take the 9x out of the brackets, brackets x minus two. So we just fully factorize the two terms. So our two solutions, what makes 9x equal to 0? Well, that's when x is 0. And our second solution, what makes the bracket 0, is when x equals 2. So what we're saying is that both x equals 0 and x equals 2, we've got a 
gradient of zero. We have a maximum or a minimum. And we can see that here at X equals naught, we've got a maximum point, gradient equals zero. And here at M, the gradient equals zero. That's with an X coordinate of two. Now we're gonna to need to know the Y coordinate as well of M. So take your two and substitute it back into the original curve, not the differential, that would just give you zero, back into the original curve. So substituting two into the curve, I get 10. So I know that M is the coordinate at two, 10. So I've done a little sketch over here to gather my thoughts. So M is at the point 210. Now I wanna work out the gradient of this line segment. Okay, so how do you work out a gradient of a straight line? Well, it's the Y step over the X step, where the Y step here is 10, the X step is two, so 10 divided by two is five. So, that's it, guys. If any of you are there now, I think one of you might just have been tuning in. Uh, if you arrived late to the lesson, no big deal. Just wait for the video to upload onto, um, onto Teams and also I will upload it onto YouTube. So just to remind you where I would ideally like you to file away your workings, your Hegarty Mass workings. So it would be under homework, then click on review. Revision, um, let me see which revision, I know it says four here. I think it's actually going to be revision five is the one that you'll be looking at for today, but it will say differentiation two. And then remember you then click to create a rectangle. You've then got the insert options being either file or picture. Okay. And just to remind you the homework for this lesson, the work I would like you to do is Hegarty Maths number 914. Okay, that's it. So I hope some of you tuned in late live, or if not, not the end of the world. It would be great if you just watch the recording and get that Hegarty exercise 914 done, please. Oh, so we've got Alex and Tara there. Excellent. Well, thank you for joining Alex and Tara. Okay. So if you didn't see all of that meeting, uh, all of that, uh, record, don't worry, just go, just play it again in a minute. And if you can try and get the Hegarty exercises done, I'm only setting one each time, then um, it just I can just see that you're just keeping your skills ticking over. Okay, cheers guys.